Hey there, I'm Cara Suboy, CNETnews.com. What do you find when you type your name into Google? Perhaps your website or professional organizations? Or maybe those photos that you wish hadn't been taken, let alone posted? Or what about finding people who share your name? The point is, we've all Googled ourselves. One man, however, has taken it a step further and produced a movie called Google Me. I think the message is clear, is that we are all connected in the world, and there is a brotherhood of man, and it's up to us to build it. For filmmaker Jim Colleen, that means one Jim Colleen at a time. In his feature-length documentary, he travels the world to meet the other Jim Colleens he found through a Google search. Went to uh, the Big Apple to meet the retired New York City police detective, St. Louis, Missouri, uh, Denver, Colorado. Hey, here, you know, why don't you just move out here to Colorado? <laughs> we, we, could, we could have a ball, trust me. <laughs> then internationally, we went to Cork, Ireland, where the priest was. Went to Edinburgh, Scotland, where a young traffic engineer is and then to Melbourne, Australia for Jim Colleen, the CEO. The central themes of Google Me are connectivity and commonality as seen through a shared identity. I asked the same 30 questions of every Jim Colleen. 270. Heavy. 14 stone. 220. 200 pounds. 105 kilos. I would ask, what is man's purpose? Which is a central theme in the film. You know, what are you most proud of? What do you regret? And my personal favorite, what shouldn't I be asking you about? Boxers or briefs? There are certain aspects of a man's life which are not for public consumption. This is the 21st century version, however, where Google also plays a main character. The first email I got from Google was, we watched the trailer, we all loved it, we imagine you need to license the logo, we're happy to do that. And it's a very valid use of how search technology can bring people together. In a final scene, all seven Jim Colleen's meet, and appropriately, Colleen, Texas, to cook chili. It had Irish potatoes, it had um, Australian beer, it was basically a little bit of something from each guy. So how do you feel? Would you really want to meet up with your Google twin or Google ganger as they're known? No, certainly not. I just want me one. <laughs> I wouldn't go out of my way, but at least give him a call. Absolutely. They might be heirs to my throne. Do you have any interest in meeting these people? Not really. <laughs> Why not? I'm fine being me. They can be them. My last name is Nguyen. That's almost like the Smith in Vietnamese, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably even more popular than Smith. I've added them on Facebook as friends too. It's just like we're, just that's all we have in common. Yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool to find somebody who has your name. I think that'd be really neat. I click until I get tired. Honestly, it's all me. <laughs> I know there's a doctor in there and everything. So I'm a writer, actually, I'm a writer in there too. I actually find another Brian Cooley who's a huge dinosaur expert. My friends who Google me are going to say, since when's Cooley into dinosaurs? I'm quite, I'm quite happy with being the only one, or one of the few, I should say. Would you have any interest in meeting someone else who had your name? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'd be quite curious. Google Me the Movie will be released April 25th on DVD at a film festival and on YouTube simultaneously. My attempt at putting it on YouTube is to broaden the appeal out and to get people to tune in and start talking about it. Oh, and there's one final twist. You've got to watch the movie to find out if any of these Jim Colleen's are actually related. But I'm sure you could Google it to find the answer, too. I'm Kara Suboy, CNETnews.com. <laughs>